Robin Hood Radio presents the best of the Berkshires from BerkshireStyle.com. BerkshireStyle.com is an online magazine and resource serving and celebrating the tri-state area. Breathtakingly beautiful and surprisingly unspoiled, the Berkshire region has long inspired gracious living. The online pages contain a wealth of local information, inviting all to do more to explore and support this very special community. I'm Tony Tucker of Berkshire Style. We continue our series on new energy as we rediscover the town of Washington. There seems to be a new and exciting resurgence, a buzz, a new park, new businesses, enhance the existing ones. Joseph Montebello takes a look at this thriving township. For the past two weeks, we've traveled through the towns of Berkshire style, the ones we cover that is. We've talked about Connecticut and Massachusetts, so today, let's continue our odyssey through the state of New York. Amenia, the name is derived from Latin and means pleasant to the eye, reflecting the town's spectacular views. Once the site of an iron mine, the town is now home to a polo field, a track, local farms, and businesses. Ancrum, in the 18th century, the Livingston Forge created metal products for the community. As the revolution drew near, the factory produced shot, cannonballs, and perhaps most importantly, the chain which stretched across the Hudson River at West Point. In 1814, the town was established with its hamlets of Ancrum, Ancrumdale, and Boston Corner. Chatham, rambling horse farms and stately center hall colonials with expansive lawns peppered the rolling countryside. Settled in the 1700s by Dutch farmers and later by the English, the town of Chatham comprises five hamlets, East Chatham, North Chatham, Chatham Center, Chatham Village, and Old Chatham. Copake. Since 1824, neighbors and visitors have delighted in her scenic valleys, lakes, and streams, enhanced by the Berkshire Mountains to the east and the Catskills to the west. Whatever the season, there's always a reason to visit. Hillsdale. In 1776, Henry Knox passed through town, transporting cannon from Albany to Boston. There are two markers along the Henry Knox Trail. A great town with friendly people, amazing scenery, well-managed businesses, and miles of trails. Millbrook. Located in the scenic Hudson Valley, Millbrook is home to horse farms, a quaint village life, and some of the best antique shopping in the region. Millerton, named one of the 10 coolest towns in America, it is nestled in a perfect location between many foothills and has maintained a wonderful small town feel. The Harlem Valley Rail Trail is a center point, 15 paved miles of former rail bed that cut through stunning rural landscapes. A little old-fashioned with many businesses operated by locals, but despite its old-style character, there is nothing much you can't get here. Pine Plains. Green pastures, board fences, and country roads wind through pristine stretches of woodland and rolling hills with mountain views and a luminous horizon. Many residents seek privacy, love, nature, many with weekday lives in publishing, advertising, and other media businesses. Stanford is a beautiful rural town of about 4,000 residents with two lakes, public parks, a great recreational facility, and beautiful places to walk, ride your bike, or just take a car ride. Its hamlets are Attlebury, Bengal, Bear Market, McIntyre, Stanfordville, Stissing, and Willowbrook. Check out our website for contact information. Just click on Towns and Villages on the homepage of Berkshire Style. Our features can also be accessed from the homepage. Please support our advertisers. Just click on the ads themselves, which link directly to their websites. Our favorite thing, a new brewing company in town, the town of North Canaan, that is. Located in the train depot, Great Fools Brewing Company will open its doors this weekend a grand opening. Out on a limb, Catherine Bouton reports on the change of cats in her household. One gentleman passed, his beloved distraught at the loss, and Catherine's effort to soothe her by replacing her love with another feline who looks just like 
for one and only. Happening this week, a look at a few fun and interesting things to do, a deeper dig into our community and its vibrant offerings. Berkshire Kitchen, candied citrus peels. Jane's thought for both your table and for gifts as well. Winter is citrus season and the perfect time to create candied orange, lemon, grapefruit, or tangerine peels. It's so easy, so why not take the afternoon and instead of Christmas cookies, make candy instead. Country homes, at the end of a drive with a big, long rocking chair part, porch. This spacious and pretty contemporary home was built within the New England vernacular. An open great room, expansive first floor master, and three ensuite guest bedrooms. In agreement and in move-in condition. And don't forget to check out Celebrate the Season, our listing of the many seasonal events happening in the region, accessible from the homepage. We at Berkshire Style are taking a few weeks off so that we can fully appreciate and embrace this festive time of year with friends and family. All of us wish you the happiest, happiest, and the merriest, merriest. Please visit us at Berkshire Style. We're an online magazine and resource here to help you find your way around the greater Berkshire area. Have a wonderful week and a joyous holiday season. BerkshireStyle.com's mission is to seek out and celebrate the richness, vitality, and diversity of resources we have on our doorstep. If you have a passion for refined simplicity, regional charm, and good taste, you're in the right place. After all, what's life without style? BerkshireStyle.com